uh, less predictable counter. I, I, you know what? I actually I agree and I disagree. Okay. I think it's both. I think you want to I think you want to maximize your ability to understand your opponent's head and your head right. on a meta level above both those heads. <laughs> those and, eyes. <laughs> and you want to play perfectly. Right. You, you do want to get those perfect. You want everything you do to be excellent. Well, I, I just mean it's not as much of a challenge to play perfectly. Sure. Mechanically. Sure. Um, for these guys. Because they practice it a lot. Right. No, not because like they just magically, oh, now it's easy for them. Yeah. It's still super hard to stay on top of that. Right. And so game one, right. Kun has opted not to go with his Wii Fit trainer that we've been seeing a lot of, but instead, Shulk with the Hyper Monado Arts. This is a very scary Shulk indeed. And that oh. is why! That is why! <laughs> the Hyper Monado Arts are so scary! That's ridiculous! What was that, 60%? Yeah, and it was just a dash attack. It was it wasn't a combo or anything. How do you oh. The Smash Mode hyper art when when uh when uh Shulk is in Smash Mode, his knockback is increased. But he's working with the custom hyper arts with a with the custom and other arts called hyper arts. Okay. They only last for six seconds, but their effects are three times as much as the regular custom the regular knockback. Oh my like, gosh. And so um, Shulk is capable of getting kills off of things like his down throw, his up tilt, oh. well under 80% on many wow. characters. That's ridiculous. I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be some weakness that goes along with this. The six seconds. When you see that smash mode come on, you run away for six seconds. <laughs> and then he can't get you for a while. Nice, nice. Alright, but Robear struggling. The other thing now is that he's got this defense mode where he just doesn't die. Like, it, you actually just don't die when, uh, with Hyper Defense mode on. Like, Jigglypuff Rest doesn't kill Hyper Defensive Shulk until, like, that back air was nice. Yeah. That was nice. But this is why Brobat is where he is. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it, He's got an 80% deficit, but he yeah. didn't let Keiko take advantage of that, uh, that smash mode he had on there. Yeah. Oh, good spot dodge to jab, too, punching the dash Doesn't attack. get too greedy, that. Oh, he lets it go. Really. Yeah. And so right now... Oh! Whoa! Whoa! He didn't it. even need the final hit. That actually just carried him to the blast zone. That's... Wow. Game one to Brugge. What a game it was. Yeah. Well. Especially considering how, like, hyper in <laughs> Kaken's favor was to start off. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. Okay, freak. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, obviously, Robear is not going to change up. So. Nope. Robear never switches up to CSS unless we core some of the switching with Wendy in an unimportant match. <laughs> Robear! Robear! If you lose, you're going Wendy, right? <laughs> Alright. Um, Robear forgot to ban Castle Siege against Kaito Kun. He forgot to ban Castle Siege against Kaito Kun. The crowd is. The crowd is. This is game two of Losers Quarterfinals for Smash 4 Singles. They do not. The crowd is not approving of the uh, bands by Robert. Can't say I approve or yeah. disapprove. <laughs> well, um, here's the thing. Yeah, uh, Castle Siege is easily Kaito Kaito Kun's favorite stage. Robert is making it look like it's his stage right now, though, with that 80 some percent lead. And a very nice back air. Oh, the turnaround boost, but Kaito Kun was able to DI out of it. There's Robert on the run. Stayed out of range of again. Oh, yep. my. So one thing about that hyper defensive mode though is that every single Monado Art changes all of Shulk's properties. They all change around. And when he's got defense mode on, sure he's really, really impossible to kill. But at the same time, he has incredibly decreased mobility. And he uh Oh, oh that was nice! Yep. Uh, Keiko tried for the uh, unexpected air slash mix up to catch Robear, but Robear had none of it and punished it with a forward smash. But Oh, he's back Robert in actually will DI out of the... <gasps> Whoa! What? There's too much happening for me to come to you on right now! Is he gonna make it? It's not quite enough! Okay, what was okay, that? so much just happened. Like, did you see the power vision, but then, like, the up smash still hit him out of it? Like, there were so many hitboxes oh, in that up smash. Oh, my goodness! Alright, anyways. Uh, you know, and then before that even, Robert did such a great job DIing out of the, uh, the hyper smash down throw. 
Uh, that was a flurry of fantastic finger movement. Wow. And so Kaito-kun did just take stock, but not before giving Robert a few moments to have lapped him. Absolutely. Definitely advantage to Robert currently, but... Now that we have shield mode back on, I will go back to saying what I was going to say like okay. many, many seconds ago <laughs> before all that exciting stuff happened, which is that in defense mode, uh, Shulk is also operating with less damage and significantly less knockback. So he himself can't really kill either. It's a mode you go into when you have the lead and you want to just like stay comfortable in it. Or when you're really afraid of dying, I guess. Oh, he's up in the air, but Robert can't quite set up that combo correctly. Right, and that's what I'm saying. He's got that defense mode on because he's at a high percent. He just wants to be able to get percent up on Robert. Right. All right. Kind of been struggling a little bit. Robert. Man, the dash shields there were incredible. Both trying to make that, but no one gets baited in quite enough to make it a big issue. Yep. Uh, so lack of commitment, you know, not, no one really wants to commit. <gasps> oh man, he got that air slash mix up that Robert didn't fall for last time. He got it this time, but it wasn't enough to kill because of that defense mode. Right. Statue definitely just saved Shulk there in that paralyzer. <gasps> and will he get the. No! He was too busy switching arts, he didn't have time to punish that missed boost kick. Oh, good job falling out of that one, though. Yeah. Oh. Doing a lot of work here, Shock. Oh, oh not my quite goodness, enough. that guy. That was so incredible. I thought for sure once it started that that was going to go all the way, but it's not quite. Such skill from uh, Kaito Kun. Yes. Kaito Kun. Kaito Kun. Kaito Kun, yes. Uh, uh, man, this oh, is a long match. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're four minutes into this one. And that's and not no! it. That's oh, not what? it. What is going on? Oh my Surely god, this is can't get boost kicked. No way! He's got that smash mode on. This is danger time. Oh, Robert oh. plays on defensively! But the smash mode goes off just in time for Robert's punish not to take effect of it. Because when he has smash mode on, his he becomes incredibly light himself. Not only does his knockback increase, no. what? the power vision. Power vision beats shield. Oh. That's just something, to, just putting that out there. <laughs> And that's it! No! That's it! The boost kick misses! And Castle Siege works out for Kaido Kun! That match went on so long, that was incredibly tense. That was so close! And now we go to game three. Uh, um, in quarterfinals, we're doing best of three still. Yes. And I, I don't know if I can take oh the tension that I got just from that. This oh my is god. crazy! So much. So much going on. It just. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It is ridiculous. It is crazy. And, uh, you know, such the two super high skill cap characters being played so well. Yeah. Oh. And we've seen the switch out. Wow. Okay. Kaido Kun taking out his link for game three. Thinks it might work out a little better for him than his shoulder. So Link obviously a little bit more of a normal channel. Character. Uh, you know, they're both very, uh, they're both sword characters, right? Right. There's a there's a lot of differences between them in spite of that, though. Shulk is working with a bigger rage, and he's got that Monado mechanic that is very, very, very different from everyone else in the game. Link, on the other hand, has this projectile wall that's insane, and Kaito Kun, as a Link player, in my opinion, is very, very, very heavy on his usage of bombs. We'll see a lot of bombs come out. Yep, like that, and a lot of boom rings. In a previous match, uh, we witnessed Kaito Kun throw a bomb in the air, it came down, and landed on his opponent right when he wanted to, and he was able to combo him to the Yep. And uh, that's exactly the kind of thing he does, because throwing bombs at someone is safe from the right distances, you know, you can't punish him. So he just throws those bombs in, and the moment one of them sets up something for him, he goes in and gets the hit. It's a very, very... Uh, you know, it's a safe way and kind of cool and technical way to play Link. Right. <laughs> he air dodged in front of Brobear, but Brobear, Brobear wasn't able to get the full punish on it. And a good mix-up going for the down air there. That was nice, yeah. Definitely changing up a little bit, because at this point, both of these players are really getting used to each other. Mm -hmm. More than anything about what's Ooh. going on. Oh, and he reads the direction Brobear is going to roll to get up, and he punishes it with a dash attack, which for Link is a killer move. That was nice. And that's when it's the reads, you know, they both, no one made mistakes there, it's yeah. just a beautiful read by Kaito Right. It wasn't so much that Brobear did something wrong as much as 
Kaito Kun did something right. Right, he just knew it was gonna happen, and but there it is! He whiffs the, the grab, and even though Link's grab did get really buffed in the most recent patch, you know, he can still punish it because it's a tether grab. Right. So good on Brobear for taking advantage of that. Oh, nice, he does a tornado with the roll. That's Both characters working with their tether grabs, now the one who wants to whip it. <laughs> wow, oh, that was a very nice, nice pivot forward tilt. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it, it's, there's so much going on, it's so hard to... Yeah, and Brobear's at the disadvantage, he seems to be struggling getting through the wall of projectiles that, Link, that Kaito Kun puts out yeah. as Link. Yeah, continually the bombs, the tornadoes, the bow. Yeah, it's the, just always. and then on top of that, the Zare. Yeah. <sighs> wow, if that had been just a few pixels further to the right, that would have been a spike on Kaito Kun for game. Nice. Oh, that's it. <gasps> no! That was, that was what it could have been. That, that was such a good air dash. Oh, that was so beautiful. <sighs> that's... Again, no, Kaito Kun is getting so good at TI at this. Yeah! Oh. Enough! Enough! No the boundaries at the stage are rather big. Ugh. At this point, whoever gets the combo is. Oh my oh, goodness! Oh, like oh, 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 what? Oh, what? Oh, 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 Filled with DI. I know, I, I just now finally got off the edge of my seat. Oh, but my I'm gonna goodness. relent my seat as a whole to uh, Summer Heat. He's gonna jump on commentary for a little while, but I'll probably be back later on in this bracket.